Hello, my name is Floris Colfontaine. I'm one of the vets at Pryor's Farm, and today I'm going to be doing a talk on obesity in horses and ponies. Why am I doing this talk today? Um, obesity is prevalent in around 50% of the population of pleasure horses, and we see it a lot as vets. Um, sadly, it's becoming more and more common. And one of the reasons why recent studies have found out that uh, owners don't necessarily notice that their horse is overweight and don't realise that, that they are fat. So why am I doing this talk? Uh, obesity is the greatest threat to equine welfare in the UK. It predisposes to many health problems, some of which are poor performance and lameness. We get behavioural changes and respiratory problems. EMS, which some of you might have heard of, equine metabolic syndrome. And most importantly, as vets, we're concerned about laminitis. The horses get excruciating foot pain, and this is quite a serious issue. So laminitis is one of the most common conditions we see as vets. Uh, this winter, we've probably seen more cases of laminitis than we have in a long time. Sadly, because of this, euthanasia is definitely something that we end up doing a lot of because people just can't keep on top of the excruciating foot pain in their laminitic ponies. So back to obesity, who is most susceptible? So classically, it's our British native ponies, uh, our cobs and our draft horses. So these breeds are particularly prone because they've evolved to utilise uh, food more efficiently. So when they're on scarce pasture with lots of um, brambles and things, they're good at converting that into fat. Taking this PowerPoint next to me, look at this graph. So imagine a wild horse. Uh, they've evolved to become what's called a yo-yo dieter. So this means they gain weight with grass growth in the spring and the summer months with the warmer weather. And then they actually lose weight over the winter months when the grass dies down. The colder weather means they have to shiver a little bit more and the, the weather is bad. So this happens year on year. And generally, they have this fluctuating curve, which actually means their weight stays pretty consistent over time. So with our weight curve in mind, theoretically, although I've talked about the susceptible breeds, theoretically, any horse actually has the capacity to become fat. Um, so thinking about a little seesaw, if their energy and food intake is greater than the exercise and activity and metabolic demand of their body, they're going to gain weight. It's just like us as humans. If we eat more calories than the exercise we take, we sadly gain weight too. Definitely as horse owners, and I'm definitely a, a culprit of this, love to spoil our animals. Um, however, this often results in us being a little bit soft on them. So we can overfeed them in the winter months. We can overrug them and we can overstable them when the weather gets bad. I know I am in particular someone that likes to give my ponies treats. So in actual fact, this, as the saying goes, we're actually killing them with kindness because overrugging, overstabling and overfeeding means we're actually reducing their natural weight curve um, and instead we're abolishing it really. Um, and so year on year, their weight can increase and increase and increase. So as a side note, it's also important to remember that weight gain is exacerbated in resting ponies uh, or horses. This can either be because they're a companion, because they're retired, or if they're out of work due to injury. So what is the perfect weight? Roughly a 12-2 pony should weigh about 300 kilos, a 14-2 pony should weigh about 400 and then 16 hand horse in and around 500 to 600 kilos. You can see the graph next, or the table next to me shows um, some average weights. So you've got to remember that no two horses are the same. Uh, breed, age, their general management, all influence body condition. So we definitely need to take all of these factors into account when assessing. There are several ways to monitor your horse's weight. Uh, we have a weigh bridge, we have weight tapes, and we also have body condition scoring. Weighbridge is the most accurate of the three methods I've just said. Um, it's the only one that actually truly measures and tells us the exact weight. Ideally, this is something that should be done every four to six weeks. Uh, we have a Weighbridge at Prize Farm. Some of you may already know about this. And we definitely allow any one of our clients to come and use it as a complimentary service. Weigh tape is a less accurate form of measuring our ponies and horses' weight. Um, but it's definitely not something we should we should cast aside. It's a really, really useful bit of kit to have in your grooming kit. Uh, it is something that we can use to monitor their weight over a period of time. It doesn't necessarily tell us their exact weight, um, but it is something that if you use the same weight tape 
every time you can see if there's a fluctuation. So we put it around their girth, around their wither region, um, and it gives us an estimate of what their weight is. These can be up to 100 kilos out either way. So it's not necessarily the exact number, but if you come and use our weigh bridge and then use the weight tape, you can sort of see in what region you are. Finally, body condition scoring. Weight is just a number um, and body condition scoring assesses your horse as a whole. So as you can see from the picture, um, it takes into account different areas of your horse's body and decides whether those are within normal limits or larger or smaller than normal. It's definitely equally a valuable tool and should definitely be used in conjunction with our weigh bridge and weight tapes. So on a five point body condition scale, say three, three out of five, that's your healthy regular weight horse. Four out of five is a fat horse and five out of five is hitting that obese mark. If they're a four out of five on the scale, then ideally they need to lose 20% of their overall body weight before they can get back to normal weight. If they're obese, so that's five on the scale, then they need to lose about 40% of the overall body weight. I mean, that's a pretty significant amount of weight to lose, but that is really the requirement to get them back down to normal. So weight loss is something that isn't going to happen overnight. It's a slow and steady process and can take several months before your horse or pony returns to their ideal weight. Starvation diets and rapid weight loss are definitely not something we recommend because it can lead to detrimental health implications in your horse or pony. In order to lose weight, think of that seesaw we saw earlier, this time it needs to be the other way around. Your physical activity needs to be higher than your food intake. That way we lose weight. This can be achieved by either decreasing the amount of feed or dieting and increasing the amount of exercise that our horse or pony gets. Firstly, let's focus on decreasing the amount of feed. So consider our regular 14-2 pony. As I said to you before, give or take should weigh around 400 kilos. If our pony is three out of five on that scale, he's a healthy weight of 400 kilos. And as a maintenance level, in general, horses and ponies normally eat two to two and a half percent of their body weight a day. For a 400 kilo pony, this equates to about 10 kilos of hay per day. If our pony is four out of five on the body condition score scale, he's give or take about 500 kilos now, and that is overweight. He's not obese just yet, but he's definitely overweight. So in order to then drop back down to our regular ideal weight, we then need to sadly give them a little bit less hay. We need to give them between one and one and a half percent of their body weight a day. And it's really important to note this is their ideal body weight. So not one to one and a half percent of their 500 kilo body weight, but one to one and a half percent of their ideal 400 kilo body weight. So this equates to about six kilos of hay a day. Soaking the hay can also reduce calorific content further. That's also a top tip if you're trying to achieve weight loss. For a healthy level of weight loss, for this 14 2 kilo pony, eating six kilos of hay a day, it's going to take round about five months to get back to his ideal body weight because we like to achieve it in a slow and steady way. If your horse has turned out on pasture, it's sometimes difficult to assess the amount of grass they eat out there. So there's a few things we, we give as top tips. Ideally, they're better off turned out in something like a sand school or a wood chip pen. Um, because then they can't eat grass at all. Or if that's not an option, then grass muzzles, sadly, are something we do recommend, not that your ponies would probably thank us. To prevent boredom, which is often definitely noted by us, they scoff food too quickly. Uh, we can prevent this by feeding their total ration over multiple hay nets. We can feed it in double netted or small hole hay nets so they eat it slower. And we can also put it in different places so this stimulates their natural foraging technique. The, the trick here is little and often. Horses on diets should also be fed a balancer. Uh, hay isn't necessarily got all the nutrients they need. So a balancer on, on the side will give them all their vitamins and minerals. So remember the graph I showed you earlier about natural weight, weight gain and weight loss in horses over the year. That's a really good way for us to achieve more weight loss in our fat ponies and horses. We can use the winter to its natural advantage. So 
if possible, if the weather's not too bad and the mud's not too bad, then we say turn out as much as possible, whether that's in a sand school, whether that's in a pasture with minimal grass, ideally, that's great because it promotes exercise. Don't be tempted to rug up your pony, even in the bad weather. If they're fat, they've got a really nice insulating coat that keeps them warm. And maybe even consider, although a little bit mean, um, sometimes we can give them a trace clip. This helps them shiver a little bit more and use some of that fat up to keep them warm. Finally, let's consider exercise for weight loss. So ideally, 30 or more minutes of trot and canter work per day is great. If daily exercise isn't possible, then every other day at least. This can be split between two sessions a day or just in one session. We can exercise our horse in multiple different ways. We can either lunge them or they can be walked in hand. We can loose school them, get them out jumping, um, or we can ride them ourselves. Depends on what you fancy. Generally, it's good to build up that amount of exercise over time, especially if your pony's unfit in the first place. So to build it up 5, 10, 20, half an hour. And then once you're at that point, you can keep going and increase the intensity of the work you're doing. So one final word from me, uh, all weight loss programs ideally should be undertaken in conjunction with veterinary advice. Um, this, isn't, this isn't a con, but it definitely means that we can consider any underlying conditions which your horse may be predisposed to, which are causing them to become fat in the first place. Um, and we can also help to treat any secondary conditions caused by, uh, by the obesity, some of them I already mentioned before. At Prize Farm, we are delighted to help you design a program suited for you and your individual horse, as every horse is individual and programs need tweaking slightly depending on the pony or horse. We will support you and your horse through the weight loss journey as it's definitely not the easiest one and we're always happy to give help and advice where you want it.